It is one of the most highly anticipated days in the trial against former Minneapolis police officer Mohamed Noor. For the very first time, we have heard from his former partner, Matthew Harity, who was in the squad car with Noor when he shot Justine Damon. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey joining us live from the Hennepin County Government Center. And Courtney Harity was quite emotional in his testimony today. Yeah, Kelsey, Officer Matthew Harity said he was left shaken by the shooting, testifying that while he did unholster his gun and he, that he feared for his life, he thought that the use of deadly force was premature. It's the testimony everyone's been waiting for. The only direct witness to the shooting of Justine Ruschek Damon, Mohammed Noor's partner, Officer Matthew Harity. Harity took the stand Thursday saying he feared for his life that night, describing how he and Noor were at the end of the alley getting ready to clear the call when a figure appeared near his driver's side window. Hearing a murmur and something hit the squad car, the now 27-year-old officer unholstered his gun. Moments later, his partner fired the fatal shot. Body camera footage played in the courtroom showed Harity performing CPR on Damon, telling her to hang on, while also trying to keep his partner calm. Those watching the trial, like criminal defense attorney Marsh Halberg, said it was a difficult video to watch. It was the most emotional video of anyone could possibly imagine. Jurors were wiping away their tears. There were people kind of clutching their their purses or their paperwork just trying to get through it. Harity testified that while he did reach for his gun, he thought the use of deadly force was premature and said he was badly shaken by the events. The trial is now recessed until Monday due to the holiday weekend. Now the big question is, will Mohammed Noor take the stand? We may find out next week. Reporting live at the Hennepin County Government Center, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.